It's official. Chat GPT has a new competitor. It's called Bard and it's by Google. Google CEO Sindar Pichai announced the project in a blog spot describing the tool as an experimental conversational AI service that will answer users' queries and take part in conversations. The big question is, so what can Bard do? A screenshot from the Google blog spot shows users asking Bard queries like how to plan a baby shower, how do you compare to Oscar-nominated movies, what can be my potential lunch ideas based on the ingredients available in my fridge. Another example which has been shared in the blog spot is how one can use BART to simplify complex topics like explaining the new discoveries from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to a nine-year-old. Which I said, when people think of Google, they often think of turning to Google to ask quick factual answers, like how many keys does a piano have? But increasingly, people are now turning to Google to get a deeper insight and understanding to their question, like, is a piano or a guitar easier to learn, and how much practice does each need? Learning about a topic like this can take a lot of effort to figure out what you really need to know, and people often want to explore a diverse range of opinions or perspectives. So this is where AI-powered search engines come in. Now, the BART software will be available to a group of tested trusters today before it becomes more widely available to the public in the coming weeks. Another question that we could all have is how does Google's BART differ from ChatGPT? Well, ChatGPT appears to be struggling with recent events. Now, ChatGPT can answer your queries based on the information from the internet as it was in 2021. So it struggles with the latest news. The question is, can BART provide information taking into account recent news? Which I says, and he says, BART draws information from the web to provide fresh, high quality responses. The operative word here is fresh. And this is where, at least in the initial place, BART could differ from ChatGPT. Now, Google CEO has also issued a rallying cry in the internal memo, all hands on desk to test. Why, why, why? Remember, Google has faced pressure from investors and employees to compete with ChatGPT, the chatbot from Microsoft-backed OpenAI, which took the public by storm when it launched late last year. In fact, there was wide speculation that Microsoft is about to bring the AI chatbot ChatGPT to its search engine Bing, following the multi-billion dollar investment into the firm behind it, OpenAI. And there's also been predictions that the AI technology like ChatGPT and others could potentially render search engines like Google obsolete in the future. So Google had to do something. Google had to respond. I picked this interesting piece from Verge, which says, the rushed announcement and the lack of information of BART are telltale signs of the code dread triggered at Google by ChatGPT's launch last year. Although ChatGPT's underlying technology is not revolutionary, OpenAI's decision to make the system freely available on the web exposed millions to this novel form of automated text generation. And the effects have been seismic, with discussions about the impact of ChatGPT on education, on work, and a particular interest to Google, the future of internet search. Verge also goes on to say that Google hitherto has been wary of a backlash against untested AI, and it's taken a more cautious approach before sharing its tools with the public. But the coming launch of BARD marks a step change in Google's approach to this technology. End of the quote from Verge. So these are exciting times. Fasten your seatbelt and get ready for a new era of AI-powered search.